Well, hi and welcome. There's a really cool feature in the organizer that gives you a helping hand with the organization of your images. Elements Organizer analyzes photos and videos in your catalog and automatically generates tags for them. And these are called smart tags. Now smart tags make it really easy for you to search based on your content in your photos. Now you can't add smart tags manually to your images. But if you don't like what Photoshop has assigned it as a tag, because sometimes it gets it wrong, then you can remove it. Now to see the smart tags panel, you've first got to click in the search field. And then here we've got all the different things that are tagged. We've got people, places, all that. Well, this first one is smart tags. And this gives us this little interface. And your photos are displayed in the smart tags panel. Now these are stacked based on people, place, events, things and more that's in your media. Now let's have a look at the smart tags from the images that we've imported. Now on many it's got it right, but some it has not. If I click on this first image here, it, what it says is that uh, there's three images that are tagged with nature. So if I click on that and then just look in there, hey, we've got, well that, that works out okay. I've got a, a bee, a butterfly, and a bird. So I'm happy that they're all, I've got the tag of nature and I'm happy with that. And you can see that it puts the tag in up here of nature. So I'll just get rid of that and go back here. And now we'll have a look at, yeah, look at this one. I've got, I've got a church actually with a round tower, but it's down as a tower and a fortress and a fort as well as over here, a church. So really, I don't want it to have a, a tag of tower because that's not correct. Well, it is, I suppose. It has got a round tower. No, no, no. I, I don't want it to. I don't want to be searching by tower. Right. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that one. And you see, it'll put tower in up there automatically for us. So I'll just click to get rid of that again. Now, one of the, the, I suppose, weird things is that you can't remove a tag in the Smart Tags editor, which is a bit weird. What you have to do is go back to the grid. So, OK, let's click on Tower. Um, and we know that this is the one that we want to, to take the um, tag from. So what I've got to do is I've got to go back to the grid. So I'm going to click this little triangle here and it's going to take me back to all the images. And so this is the image that's got the tag that I want to take away. So if I click on that and then right click on it, if I come down here in the contextual menu, I'll, feel, I'll see there's, there's something called remove smart tag. And these are all the tags that were put in there in place when the, during the import process. And of course, this, this is a church, uh, but it isn't a fortress. So I want to remove the tag fortress on it. I'll have another look at it. I'll right click and remove smart tag. Um, church, architecture, yeah, sky. Four. No, it was it had fort and it. it's not a fort. So I'll click on that one to get rid of it. Uh, and now if we go back to the search menu and I now search um, for say church. I should only get one image come up. Just a minute, there it is. That's one. Oh no, I've left tower on. Yeah, I didn't want that one, did I? Okay, so let's go back then. So I'm going to go back to my grid. I'm going to right click and remove smart tag and remove tower. Uh, so that's it gone now. So now if again we go to the search menu and I go and I can click on church then there's only one image now that's got one um, a church uh, keyword. Now you can search with more than one smart tag and also with the and, or, or exclude operators. Now let me show you how that works. Let's say type the keyword castle and click and I get one, one image comes up with castle. But if I now press the plus key and then type another keyword, so let's say nature. 
then I get nothing come up. And this is right, because what this is asking is that I want you to show me all the images that I have of the castle and the nature keyword. Well, there isn't any. But if I go up to the little plus sign with my mouse, and here it, does, it says and, if I click on that and click the or, or the, the backslash, it will bring four images up. Because now what it's saying is I want any of the images that have the tag castle or nature. So you can see how that goes. You can get really specific in being able to pull out the images that you actually want by using multiple smart tags. Now you can edit how the media analysis works. Now if you're on a Windows machine, you can go to the edit menu and preferences, or in, if you're on a Mac machine, you can go on to elements organizer and preferences. So I'm gonna to go to edit and preferences, and then I'm gonna go down to media analysis. Now in media analysis, you will be doing more about this later, but you can actually set how you want the, the face recognition to work. Um, or here you can do the analysis options, which is analyze media for smart tags, auto curation and auto creations. If you want to switch off, if you don't use any videos, you can switch off the videos. Um, and if you don't want smart tags, then you can turn them off as well. Okay, I'll just click OK. I'm leaving them all on because that's how I work. And we'll click OK. Well, that's it for smart tags. It's a small feature, uh, but it could save you a lot of time when you're searching and trying to find your images for a particular thing that you want to do. Okay, well, that's it. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.